You did well. Obtaining the Macran Crystal under those conditions was quite impressive. Yes, but there is still one item you must obtain. The Muonic Inducer. It is the device Galactus uses to assimilate the energy of a planet when he devours it. He is about to attack a planet populated by the Skrull, a race who has long sought to conquer the Earth. If you wish to leave now, see the dog Lockjaw. Or, should you desire additional information, talk to the Black Widow. Welcome back. I understand you had a little excitement during your mission to Shi'ar. The situation on Earth has grown considerably worse. Doctor Doom has easily crushed any resistance. It would appear you are Earth's last hope. This places even more importance on your acquiring the Muonic Inducer. This device is used by Galactus when he consumes a planet. He is currently in the beginning stages of consuming a planet populated by the Skrull. Galactus is an entity of enormous powers. Born at the destruction of one universe, and during the birth of ours, he wields immense cosmic energy. Because of his incredible power, Galactus needs to devour entire planets to sustain himself. He uses a herald to search ahead and find planets suitable for consumption. They are a much older race than we are, having been capable of space flight for millions of years. Originally, they were peaceful merchants. Then, they met the Kree. The Kree are a race of warriors, so to protect themselves, the Skrull were forced to become warriors themselves. Now, violence and conquest are a way of life for the Skrull. Many times, and because of it, the Skrull have created various warriors in their Super Skrull program. In ways, but the Super Scroll program is much more intensive and sometimes takes volunteers against their will. But it has created a number of powerful warriors, such as Pybok and Super Scroll. You are welcome. Yes! Hi, Tony. Sounds like you guys had some fun in the Shi'ar Empire. Hello, Hank. One of these missions, you should come with us. It's a device Galactus uses when he consumes a planet. It converts the vast energy into something he can assimilate. The Inducer will allow you to safely absorb Doom's stolen god power. Without it, you'd be fried instantly. Yes. It's kind of like our super soldier program, the scientific experiments that gave us Captain America. Well, the Skrulls tend to force their volunteers into service rather than asking their permission. Some of their super Skrulls have been less than happy once the procedure's done. Hey, anytime. Welcome back from the Shi'ar Empire. How can I help you? The planet is quite important as it is home to the Skrull Empress. It also houses the main research center for the Super Skrull program. Galactus is not the least bit concerned about the creatures on the planets he consumes. He is only interested in feeding his ravenous appetite. Yes, while she has proven herself to be an able leader, she is rather self-centered and egomaniacal. Quite often she is attended by two bodyguards, the Super Skrull and Pybok. The Super Skrull was augmented in response to the Fantastic Four. He has powers that are similar to theirs, such as super strength, fire manipulation, elasticity, and the ability to generate force fields. He is also the result of the Super Scroll program, 
he was given powers that make him capable of defeating Earth's superheroes. I am pleased to help. Welcome back. You did a good job finding the McCran crystal. Dugan has come to Adelan, and from his report, things don't look good. Entire landscapes have been converted into Doom's twisted view of perfection. He's gone to a great deal of trouble to make a mockery of former hero bases. The X-Mansion, the Baxter Building, even Stark Tower haven't escaped his notice. Every attempt to stop Doom has met with dismal failure. Dr. Doom's done worse than defeat them. He's converted them into his own private army. There appears to be nothing on Earth that can stop Doom. Any time at all. Track down Doom and force him to free Medusa from his control. Oh, what fun it will be to crush that metal clad worm into the dirt. Are you sure you know what you're doing? <sighs> I can see how Doom would frighten you and the other heroes, Blade. But I am an inhuman. We are a very strong people. You're not hearing me, Gorgon. It's suicide for you to take on Doom right now. He's just too powerful. <sighs> Don't bother me with your petty fears. Doom hurt Medusa, and for that, he must pay. I'm all for settling scores, but you gotta be smart about it. Just think for a minute. Doom has the power of Odin, the strongest of the Asgardians. You really believe you can defeat someone like that? Yes. We can, and we will, for we are the Inhumans. You got it. No problem. Hi, Sue. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Crystal. It's good to see you. He used his god powers to change her, turn her into an evil version of herself. We don't know, but we'll be traveling to Earth to force Doom to change her back. Yes, Doom may have the power of Odin, but we're betting he can't defeat the combined might of the Inhumans. We can't leave my sister in her current condition. Would you be able to wait if it was your sister in this condition? No, we must leave soon and take the fight to Doom. We will make him pay for what he did to Medusa. You're welcome. Have you seen Medusa? Doom must be stopped before he can twist the minds of others. She is the wife of Black Bolt, the sister of Crystal, and a cousin of mine. At a very early age, she was exposed to the Terrigen Mists, which gave her hair that she could control with her mind. When they were both children, she would visit Black Bolt in his cell. They spoke using a special sign language they developed. It wasn't a prison, really. Because of his extreme power, he was placed in a soundproof room. He wasn't allowed out until the age of 18, when it was felt he could control his ability. Very rarely. Once, when the Kree were making a deal with Maximus to destroy us, Black Bolt shouted at the Kree ship. It wound up crashing on Parliament, killing Black Bolt's parents. Of course. Hello, it's good to see you. What can I do for you? It was no problem at all.
I've never been so glad to lay eyes on my own kind. I'd heard you were dead. I wish I had better news for you. Black Bolt, I'm sorry about Medusa, but I'm sure we'll find a way to get her back to normal. Medusa, it's me, Sue Richards, remember? We've been friends a long time. If we truly are friends, then release me! No, I don't trust you. Doom changed you somehow, turned you evil. My Lord Doom did nothing but prove that he is the ultimate power in this universe. And soon you too will realize we are here to serve him. I am so sorry, Medusa. We'll figure out some way to save you. But I don't want to be saved, my good friend Sue. If you truly wish to help, then set me free that I might bring Dr. Doom here. Then we will all bask in his glory. Got it. I am pleased to see you again, Johnny Storm. Oh, hold on there, Karnak. I could swear I almost saw you smile. Black Bolt, he is unable to speak. Because his voice is so powerful, even the slightest whisper would destroy half of Attilan. Not if he can help it. He and his wife Medusa have developed a special sign language that allows them to converse. Your trip across the universe to Shi'ar was no trouble for him at all. No, he is as full of energy as ever. I don't know if teleporting tires him at all. I am happy to be of service. <laughs>